It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the New England Patriots and the Jacksonville Jaguars. All that and more coming up next. Now from a stadium that's hosted NFL games since 2007, the International Series continues inside iconic Wembley Stadium, the capital city of London, England, hosting the NFL again. Welcome to the booth, everyone. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson, all set for a good one here. Greg, this is one of those interesting things because you talk to both coaches, they've schemed, plotted all week, and the question becomes, who's got the plan that's going to fit against this other team? Well, that's always the question, and I think if we really got honest responses from some of these play callers in pregame, I think they're not even quite sure. Everyone goes in feeling really good about the weak work. They feel really good about where they are from a game plan perspective, but now can you adjust? Can you find the elements of that game plan that are best suited for having success in this given game? That's the key. This is fielded inside the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. They're going to be led out by their veteran signal caller out of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. Whenever he comes in the game, you know exactly what you're going to get. He may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle. He brings a lot of stability to this role, and he is capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. Uh, first carry for Ramondre Stevenson. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Now, it's Brissett. Open man. That's the tight end, Hunter Henry. It's a gain of 10 yards. Good for a Patriots first down. They'll run. Stevenson. Room to run past midfield. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Working out of the gun, here's Brissett. He'll find the rookie from Washington, Jalen Polk. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay of game. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. He'll go right back to Polk. Again, it's complete. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. A nice play here by Jalen Polk. And here's a guy we saw in 2023, Mike, his last year in college, really have a career year in both catches, yards, and touchdowns. He kind of jumped and burst onto the scene. He can play inside. He can play outside. He has great hands. And sometimes, even when he's covered, you can just throw it up. And he is about as good of a jump ball winner at the receiver position as there was coming out of this draft class. 
There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. Throwing again, reset. All in by the tight end, Henry. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Play eight of the opening drive coming up, and now they face third down. We're set. Going to throw again. And he's in. DeMario Douglas. Touchdown, New England. And they get the first points of the game. What a way to start it, Greg. You get the ball. It's what you want to do. Settle into this game on top 6-0. Mike, how often do we have coaches tell us the importance of playing with the lead? Well, they come take the ball right away on the first drive, all the way down there and strike first. And now the rest of the way, let's see how it plays out. Joey Sly on now for the point after. He's got it. And the Patriots will take a 7-0 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away a return now from the four and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line Jacksonville comes out with a former number one overall pick Trevor Lawrence their quarterback six foot six tall and talented Greg hard to believe already is season four for Lawrence after his days at Clemson the Clemson product, he entered the league a couple years ago, Mike, as one of the best quarterback prospects we've seen really in the last decade. And it's easy to see why. When you put on the tape, right, his physical skills, his arm strength, they jump out at you. But now, if he's ever going to reach that full potential, he has to start placing an emphasis on protecting the ball. Get rid of the bad. There's so much good in his game. Don't let it be overshadowed. That's been the biggest knock of his career. And if he can change that, the sky is the limit. Second down and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. Hit as he threw it. The pass is incomplete. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterback's clock. He's got no choice than to get rid of it, probably a little bit earlier than he would have preferred. That one on target with Kirk. They've got it. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. It's a really critical conversion here because after not scoring on your opening drive, you just can't afford to follow that up with a three and out. So you find yourself down 7 nothing. Sustain this drive and at the very least, see if you can come away with some points. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Now some movement up front. Flags down. Mistake build first half continues that's on the tackle Anton Harrison Lawrence gives this one to ETN and he'll get back maybe to the That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started They'll run it once more with ETN. And he'll pick his way forward. A gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down.
Lawrence on the draw. It's ETN. On fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt. That's Marcus Jones back to return for the Patriots. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Operating from the gun is Brissett. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. Here is Brissett. That one taken in by Douglas. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Slot receiver headed right. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. First and 10. Throw it. Reset has completed to Douglas. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Reset gonna throw. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll be taken down after a gain of three, but that is good enough for a first down. On the option, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll get about five. The throw is Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Quick hitting slant there. One quarter in the books. The Patriots out on top. More from the International Series in London after this. Reset. 
He's got it inside the five. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can... A dive, and he's in! Antonio Gibson. Touchdown, Patriots. Sly now for the point after. He's got it. And the Pats move out on top, 14 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This returnable from the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Jaguars offense ready to take over for their second possession. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and ten. play fit. Here's Lawrence. The pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20 yard line. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back Mike because when they used him as a decoy nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around the defense was all over him. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On the draw, the give to ETN. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. And that ball intercepted. It's Christian Gonzalez. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. So the first part of any interception is just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an add and bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. They'll come up here first and 10. A carry now for Gibson. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Quick throw, taken in. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down 
but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, different than the college game, these offensive linemen, they're blocking for the run. But if that ball gets pulled, the pass option of the play, they're not allowed downfield. In the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield, even on a forward pass. And he will get into the end zone. Ramondre Stevenson, touchdown New England. So the turnover turns into a quick touchdown. And Greg, that's exactly how you want your offense to take care of business. Anytime your defense can create those sudden change situations, Mike, absolutely, you have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field and go take advantage of the short field and results in a nice touchdown. Out comes Sly for the extra point. He's got it. And the Patriots will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Jaguars offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. Davis going in motion. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Devon Godshaw there on the tackle. Look him up on a second down and eight. Working out of the gun. It's... Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes there's no answer for it. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Now Lawrence, and is out quickly into the hands of Kirk. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. Ramondre Stevenson and the Patriots getting set for their next drive. They've opened up a big lead already, trying to put this one to bed maybe before halftime. Another drive starts here with first and ten. Now, Brissett. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three.
second and seven. They'll put a receiver in motion right. And they'll bring him down just shy of midfield, but that is enough. It's a first down. Now Gibson. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy, but if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. Got a man open downfield on the crossing route. And he will score. Demario Douglas. Touchdown, Patriots. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Sly now for the point after. The kick is good. And the Pats move out to a commanding 28 to nothing first half lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Here comes the Jacksonville offense now, heading back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and 10. to throw. Lawrence. There's a short one taken by Ingram. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Play action now. It's Lawrence. This one is caught, and it's the tight end, Strange. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game, and you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. You don't need much. It is third and inches. Now Lawrence on the bootleg. Short pass taken in by the tight end. He will have a Jaguars first down. At least at first glance, they'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Kirk is the motion man. They run on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that, they get him down behind the line. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. 
to throw is Lawrence. Finding his tight end, Farrell. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. In the pistol, here's Lawrence. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. Evan Ingram, the intended target. And now it's going to be third down. On the give, it's ETN. Well, this one is in reverse again. They're going to lose more yardage here. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now, as he is on to punt for Jacksonville. A fair catch taken. And they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The Patriots offense and their big play wide out getting set for their next possession. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. out of the gun here's Brissett called in by the tight end Henry here's a second and six from the shotgun it's Brissett and that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should. And you let it slip away. That's to the right side. He's got Polk. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points. But either way, worst case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pickup there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. Brissett going to throw again. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Throwing again, Brissett. To the left side here, caught by Baker. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. So we had halftime here at Wembley in the latest installment of the NFL International Series as we send you back across the Atlantic 
Early wake-up call for Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. Top of the morning, Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. We saw a solid first half from the Oklahoma man, Ramondre Stevenson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Jaguars offense ready to see what they can do. Greg, simply put, they've been off their game right from the jump. Yeah, and sometimes it's just the way the game goes, and you can't really put your finger on it, but you feel good coming out of the week of practice. You feel really good about your game plan, and then once the ball's kicked off, nothing seems to work, and it's very frustrating because you can look great one week and then the next week be completely taken out of your game. Set to go now on first and ten. They go play action for Lawrence. That's caught. It's the former Bill, Gabe Davis. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Davis with a nice first down grab. And he's really developed into a good receiver, especially these last few seasons, going over 700 yards in each of the previous two. That level of consistency is one of the main reasons why the Jaguars made it a priority to go out and sign him in free agency. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Now here's Lawrence. His throw left side, taken in by Kirk. They face second down and seven. Lawrence now. He'll go right back to Kirk again. It's complete. He is in. Christian Kirk. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Cam Little comes on now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Jaguars are able to edge a bit closer. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, this is Jalen Rager. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Pates offense and Jacoby Brissett getting set for their next drive. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance 
from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. He'll start on the ground with Stevenson. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. There's that man again. Another catch. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Really well done here by the defense, Mike. Executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump. And they were able to stop that play really before it got started. 17 yards on that connection. First down, New England. Really nice throw downfield on that conversion. Brings up a new set of downs. And defensively, Mike, this feels like desperation mode. If you allow them to finish this drive with a touchdown, this game feels all but over. On play action, Brissett. He's got his big tight end, Henry. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Here's a give. Running right. It's Stevenson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. There's Trevor Lawrence as he and the Jaguars get set for their next drive. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. They'll give it to ETN to start this drive. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run. Simple handoff. No gain. They'll try again. It's second and ten. Once again, it's ETN. ETN has the first down. Still going. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Well, after not having much success in the first half, they're able to get something going on the ground here to start the third quarter. I'd love to see the play caller mix in some play action, mix in some pass game. That should open up some of these holes for better situations to run the ball. We'll go back to ETN on first down. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Jawan Bentley there on the tackle.
Lawrence now on second down. And that ball intercepted. It's Christian Gonzalez. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback because this defense, they're on to you. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll work the middle this time with Stevenson. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking him down for a loss. On the ground, Gibson. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. And here's Brissett. Oh, that's the one thing they couldn't have there. The sack that might take them out of field goal range. He might have a new name on the back of his uniform. Remember, Mike, back in July, he went from Allen to wanting to be referred to by Heinz Allen. But with all that being said, he is still the same dynamic pass rusher he has always been. And he is a handful for any offensive line. And this time, he gets in there for a sack. Joey Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This a 57-yard attempt. Sly's kick is good. And the Pats add on to their lead. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return coming from the seven. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Jags offense headed back to take over once more. They'll begin with first and ten. Here's Lawrence. Open man is Davis. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Great pre-snap identification by the quarterback, realizing that the blitz was coming and exactly where the soft spot in the defense would be. He's able to put that slant route right on the front shoulder pad of his receiver. Leads to a real nice run after catch and brings up first down. They'll run. It's ETN. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen.
They'll work now on second and four. On the handoff, it's ETN. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. So we are through three. Back with more of the NFL International Series after this. And a yard. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. First down and more inside the 30. And he's going to take this all the way home. Travis Etienne, touchdown Jaguar. Touchdown here in the fourth quarter, Greg. They have a big mountain to climb, but at least they're technically still alive in this one. And now, Mike, we're going to see them line up to go for two. They're going to see if they can get this lead down to 16 points and still give them a chance to fight back here late in the fourth quarter. So Lawrence lines up the Jaguars as they will go for two. Here's ETN. And this time he'll be stopped short of the goal line, maybe a little winded after that long touchdown run. In any event, the try for two fails. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This will be returnable for Rager. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run Stevenson, and he'll get this only up to about the 33-yard line. Here's second and nine. We'll go right back to Stevenson. And some good blocking at the point of attack. A pickup of seven, and it brings up third down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Third and two, here's Brissett. Middle of the field, that's taken in by Baker. 
These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. They'll run on first down with Stevenson. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. They'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll run here with Gibson. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Third and five. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Travis Etienne and the Jaguar offense ready to get back to work. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. At least close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Throwing is Lawrence. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. That one on target with Kirk. They've got it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game. First and 10. Now Lawrence. This one called in by Thomas. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. On first and ten, Lawrence. On the sideline, Kirk pulls it in. They'll come up here on second down and five.
Lawrence. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. Lawrence gives this one to ETN, and he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways. And, he... and he's into the end zone. Christian Kirk, touchdown Jacksonville. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike. And he's able to connect here for a big touchdown. Here's Cam Little for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Jaguars are able to cut into the deficit. So down two scores, they're going to roll the dice here with an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this. Ah, oh, the ball's out. That's a big risk in this situation here, Mike. They're hoping to catch him by surprise, but now when you fail, the other team is able to not only have a short field, they got a chance to extend their lead. The visitors' offense about ready to take over once more. They'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. That one caught by Polk. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. A little surprising here, Mike. They continue to throw the ball with this type of lead here in the fourth quarter. But with the day they've had and the upper hand they've had against this pass defense, I don't know if I could really blame them. I mean, with the amount of man coverage that they're seeing, right now, the quarterback's just saying, what's my best matchup? Who do I love to gain separation and just throw him the ball? And for the most part of the game, it's continued to work. Here's a second and nine. They'll go again here with Stevenson. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They'll drop to throw. This complete to Pope. 
And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. They only need a yard, and it's fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he's going to have the Pats. And he is going to have the Chargers. And now at 152, the defense will pull the plug there as they take a timeout. Here's Gibson. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. I'll give up the middle to Stevenson. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? On third down, here's a run by Stevenson. Joey Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This from extra point range, a 33-yard field goal attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Patriots will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The home team's offense and Christian Kirk getting set for their next possession. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. Here's first and ten. Back to throw. Lawrence. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Second down, Lawrence. Trouble and down he goes. So it's a win for the Patriots. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
For more, log on to easports.com. So long from London.